Hello, this is an update in my project samples and more and this time I film and you can only see my hands. I hope that's okay, I do that sometimes. Uh, it's been a while since I filmed this so I have um, lots of progress I think and, and this is my products that I've been working on since the last update. <coughs> Sorry, and uh, this time I'm gonna draw new products in this English version, and um, I do also film in Swedish. And in that video, I'm only gonna show what I did draw. Oh no! Um, I will start with nail polishes, and. Yes, that's it. The last time I did draw this one, depend in the shade 136. It's a pink, slightly shimmering, rather sheer uh, nail polish. And I did finish that. It was about half full and uh, I'm happy <laughs> that I finished it because I didn't like it. It was so sheer and hard to work with so that's gone and it's quite old as well so that's good. And I'm gonna draw another nail, po nail polish out of my... this is not working... out of my box here and it looks like this. And I'm gonna do it like this, <laughs> so I don't see what I do. Okay, this is Viva La Diva. I think it's a Swedish brand. In an orange, orange color, which is called, yes, no, it's made in Italy. But it seems that it is a Swedish brand. In the color 52, I believe no name and I have used it but I don't remember how it is so that's the nail polish I'm gonna use this time around and I'm actually gonna draw one more because I want to have a little bit of variety so one more and this is Appleosophy in the shade 08 cool brown and I think this is a Swedish brand as well I don't know hmm yes it is it's a pharmacy brand here in Sweden so um, and this I have never used so that should be fun so these two this is not a very summery color but anyway this is so that's good So these two will be for my next period of time and this um, band-aid is not sitting well and you can see I have um, my thumb is not looking at that cute so that's why I had that and my next category will be eyeshadows and for this period of time I worked on this Da Vinci pigment, Da Vinci Cosmetics in the shade Bronze 09. <laughs> and I don't like pigment that much. I think it's a little bit messy and I don't use them. I don't have that many but this is a beautiful shade, I can show you. Oh. <laughs> That's a big swatch. It's beautiful and I don't know what to do with it. I'm going to put it in a drawer where I put some products that I may sort out from my collection or declutter so and 
I will think about that actually. I did um, look for a dupe in my collection but I didn't find an, an exactly dupe but I found several shades that were similar so I don't think I'm gonna miss it that much if I get rid of it but I don't know what to do with it so yeah that's it and it as I said it, it is a beautiful shade but I think it's it's much more easier with a pressed eyeshadow than a pigment. And I'm gonna draw another uh, single eyeshadow for this next period of time. And I have, where is it? It's in this box. And you can see my eyeshadows there. And I have actually parted this the normal eyeshadows and it's a bit messy something is leaking in this and my my um, cream and stick shadows because I'm gonna draw one of each and this band-aid is <laughs> doesn't sit well either and you can see all my oh that's why I have this so you will have to excuse that so I'm going to put the lid on that one and try to get something out of here and what is this? this is an empty little jar and it says number 7 on it and it's very messy as I said <laughs> and number 7 is I have in my book here I have marked some eyeshadows that I have in a C palette and for number seven it's Lumine Story of Us. It's a duo. And I will look in my little C palette here to see what's that what that is. What shade that is. And I think it's maybe one of these, no? Then it may be one of these. No, number four. Number one. Number two. No, Lumine. That's not one of them. Hmm, number seven. That's odd. I can't understand what that is. Hmm, and this is not it. This is an uh, not black cosmetics. This is not Lumine. This is Isadora. Hmm, strange. Number seven. I have to look again. Um, Lumine, story of us. I have to, this must be a wrong, <laughs> I think it is this anyway, so maybe the, the marking was wrong, because this is number 12, and this is not right at all, so this is Lumine, I know that, and I described it as a uh, purple wine red color and this is it so never mind I take this because I know that is what I meant but <laughs> the, the numbering is wrong so I have to look that up later but I will try to use this one and this is a duo uh, with this light mm, pink shade and I'm gonna try the dark one for this period of time and see what I think about it. I don't remember if I ever used it. I can take that swatch away. Then I'm gonna draw some stick or um, potted eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow. 
in this one and I think I'm going for a stick because I know I I can feel that it the different form of this so I want to try to draw Okay, this is Caprice, no not Caprice, Catrice Liquid Metal Long Lasting Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Calif California Creamin. I did forget to swatch the Lumen one, so I'm gonna do that. Hmm. It seems not that pigmented and not a little bit patchy, so we'll see about that. And this one from Catrice, oh, hard to get, ah, oh, this is a cream, ooh, that's very nice, I think. Um, this is a thick swatch, but I think this is going to be nice. I haven't tried this before, so yeah, that's that. And next product will be lip products, and the last time I did and divide them in two as well and I will start with with the lipsticks and for um, this period of time I have been using this Clinique lipstick in blushing nude and first of all the cap is not sitting on well and the the shade is nice I think it's a brownie nude shade that I like, but it's quite drying I think. it's It feels soft on the lips, but the lips underneath is slightly, feels slightly drying. So that wasn't my favorite, but I don't want to get rid of it I think. so. As long as I don't use it every day, it's gonna be okay. So that's that, and I'm gonna draw a new lipstick in this eye look away. And I will draw this one. Oops! <laughs> this is. Um, mm, 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 mm. This is Bourgeois in rouge edition in the shade fuchsia graffiti fuchsia fuchsia graffiti i don't know how it's pronounced in english in swedish we say fuchsia or graffiti graffiti and it's very very bright for me <laughs> it's pink and uh, well i'm gonna try it see if I like it. I don't think I ever used this so we will see. And I'm gonna draw another lip gloss as well. The last time I did draw this one, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in the shade Show Off. This is a little sample size and it's um, a little bit minty and quite sticky I think and I have used it up and it wasn't that much in this actually so it wasn't that hard so that's good one more empty and i'm gonna draw another no that's not it <laughs> another lip gloss i think it's in this one no where did i put this this little box and I'm gonna do a four and uh -huh, another marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals lip gloss, but that's good. I want to use these up, so um, that's very good actually. And this shade is called Spark 
plug. The other shade was very sheer and a little bit pink. This is more nude, light brown nude. And it's a little minty, sweet mint scent on this one. So I'm gonna try this out for this time in the project. Next I have <clears throat> I have the samples and first up is my body products and since last the last time I have been using this one Rituals Fortune Oil Sweet Orange and Cedar Wood and it's a shower oil and I don't think it smells anything like orange and I don't know why I think it smells like banana and some kind of spicy scent um, herbally spicy scent and I don't like it and I don't like shower oils that much either so I'm glad I have used it up so I can be gone with the, that one and I have also used this foot mask from Skin Republic foot repair 20 minute treatment. This is very nice. I think I have used it before and um, and um, the feet feels very soft and moisturized afterwards so I like this and I have also used what else this one it's actually an I think it's an um, it's a face cream, but I used it as a body cream because I didn't know for sure and I thought this was a bit old. So, Now Bay Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturizing. And it was not much in this tube, so I have used this up also. So that's good. And I also have one more, and that is this. <laughs> Merci Handy Black Vanilla Hand Cleansing Gel. You have seen this before and I have maybe used this twice since last time, since the last time. And I hope to use this up soon, but it doesn't seem like I'm going to do that. I like it because it's moisturizing and it smells nice, but I don't need this actually. So I have to for force myself to use this and I have to be better to better at remembering to use it. So I'm gonna keep on working on that one. And that was the body products and I'm gonna draw some new one. This is very heavy. No, it wasn't that one. That was face products. Here it is. I have two boxes that looks exactly the same. And <laughs> you can see, can you see the black thing? It was the um, coffee scrub that I had a couple of times ago and it has been leaking out in this box. It smells nice, but it doesn't look that pretty at all. So, I'm going to draw a few of these, depending on what I get. Here is some kind of tube from Vileda. Vileda? What is it from, this brand? Mm. Switzerland. Made in Switzerland and distributed distributed by in Sydney I don't know Willida I think uh, anyway it's a citrus um, body wash creamy body wash so that sounds nice I'm gonna try that one and what I think I'm gonna draw another one I'm gonna draw some of these these things this is from Coco Star Hand Moisture Pack. I 
like these uh, things for hands and feet, so that will be nice as well. And as long as it feels okay, I'm gonna draw another one. This is another shower gel, and that's no fun to look at. So I, because I did already draw a shower, I took it back and I will draw another thing. This is body tangerine vanilla. Psycha med or something. Body lotion, I think. Nourishing body lotion. It's a very small tube, so that won't be any problem at all. One, two, three, four. How much do I have in this one? I'm gonna draw one more. This is also a shower gel, so I will show it back. What is this? Something very small. Um, oh, now I have coffee scrub on my hands. This is Aqua di Parma Colonia Pura. Pura. Um, a perfume, I think. Maybe from a glossy box or some order. Anyway, I'm going to try that out, and that will be all the body products, I think. And the next category is face products, and this is the most full box you can see there. And since the last time I have been trying out this one, the Shea Butter Pure Essence Mask Sheet in ah, from Holika Holika. And this was quite nice. I don't like sheet masks that much because they there is always something wrong with the size. <laughs> this had two small openings for the eyes, uh, but it was okay. And I liked it. The, um, the skin felt very nice afterwards and uh, it sat well where it sat. <laughs> uh, it didn't fall off or anything. So this was nice actually. And I also did use these facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty and this was okay. Not my favorite because um, ah, these were okay. Better than another brand I uh, just tried, uh, that the pads was so small, so it was hard to hold them in the hand. But these were okay, um, I think. These are good to travel with, I think, but I don't use these at home much, so... That's okay, and that's finished, and I also finished this Caudalie Vinosaurs Moisturizing Sorbet. I think this is okay as well, not my favorite, it's, it's a strange um, consistency, I think. It's almost like it's gone bad, but it hasn't, so uh, the Sorbet feeling of it. I, uh, it's okay, and it's empty. And then I have used, what else? The facial oil, oh, I did forget that. I have this Monoskin Firming Facial Oil. It's a little tube of facial oil, as, and I used it as a night oil at first, but I didn't like it that much so I have actually used it as a cleansing oil and I have just a little bit left but it's not finished so I forgot to bring it but you will see in it my next update and what else uh, this one Babor Skin Vage Lipid Intense Cream for dry skin. 
it was very <laughs> um, what do you say for dry skin I, and I don't have dry skin so it was a bit too oily for me but it was about three uses I think and it's gone and what was this one no that wasn't it I have to look in my paper yeah that was it actually yep and I'm gonna draw some new products in this and I will <laughs> this I got this the last time and I, I think I put it back um, strange uh, get in no silk cleanser so I will try that one and I'm gonna clean my hand because it is sticky from the lip glosses and I will get something else this is Filorga Laboratories Time Filler Absolute Wrinkles Correction Cream. Hmm. Is this an just face cream? I don't know. But I'm gonna try this. And I will keep on going because I have so much in this box. What is this? This is Shiseido Power Infusing Concentrate and Refining Moisturizer. It's just a small sample. Small, um, I don't know what it is. Unleashing a powerful protective duo that smooths and nourishes, product, producing a beautiful, stable complexion. Some kind of face cream or something. So I will try that as well. And I will do another one. And if, if I get another face cream, I will put it back. And I did. Uh, Balance Me Balancing Face Moisturizer. And I put it back. And another one. And what is this? It's another cleanser. I will put that back as well and hope to get something else than cleansers. I can take this one. This is Babor Masterpiece. Hmm. Four times Hydra plus active fluid and three times active night fluid. It supplies intense moisturizer during the day and while you, you sleep some kind of serum maybe or I don't know I'm gonna try this out and that will be it I think for products yes I will be pleased with that one and then I we have the hair products and this is the box with hair products and the last time I did draw this one Profs, it's a Swedish brand, uh, professional dry shampoo for oily hair, I don't like this it's, it doesn't work, the oil, it doesn't uh, dry out the oil so I don't recommend this at all and I do think I have two more of these unfortunately so that's no good but I will try to use them maybe in combination with the Batiste one or something so it's finished but I don't like it and I did draw this one as well the Grow Gorgeous Scalp Detox uh, Exfoliating Pre-Wash Treatment and this was uh, a cream with um, some um, like a scrub for the scalp and I didn't like this either because I didn't get the things, the little scrub corns out of my hair and I didn't like that so um, not for me so I actually used it as a body exfoliating 
type of product. <laughs> I exfoliated my legs with this one and it was okay. It's finished, but I, I don't like this on me. And that was the hair products. So I'm gonna try to draw some more. Maria Åkerberg, this is a Swedish brand as well. It's the hair conditioner Liquorich. And if I have a shampoo with this one, I'm going to take that as well and try these out. I have never tried them. And I will try to do another one. What is this? Kerastase. Kerast... I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this is a little sample of... Um, Intense moisturizing conditioner. Okay, but it's a small one, so I can use that as well. But I think I will be pleased with these two. And I can look for the if I have a yeah, that's one more of these. Hmm. No, I don't have a shampoo that goes with the conditioner. So I will try that alone, and then I have, I think, the last category, which is makeup things and other things. And the last time I did draw this one, Art Deco High Definition Foundation in the shade 11 Neutral. And it's okay in this foundation. Uh, I like it okay, and I have tried it before, and uh, yeah. This is nice. And I also have used this one. This is not a makeup product, but it is. I think I have it in this category. I don't know. This is Yves Rocher uh, Exfoliating Nail Treatment. Maybe it's it belongs to another category. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I have used it. You can see my line there. I have used it maybe four times or something, so I'm gonna keep on working on that one. And this category is not that big because in Sweden we don't get a lot of makeup samples, so I am only gonna draw one of here. And this is Rodile or Rodial, I don't know how to pronounce this. This is the Glamo Lash Mascara XXL. Okay, actually, I do think I will give this away. It's not been opened, and I don't use mascaras because I have lash extensions, so I will give this to someone instead. It's no use for me. So I will try to draw another one. Ah! Sheer Cover uh, Bronzing Tan Minerals. Sheer Cover Lip to Lid Highlighter. And this is a, a product that I haven't... I don't know what to do with it. So that's why I put it in here because it's not that much in this. So, I think it's too, um, too um, dark for me as a um, highlighter. It's very gold brown. And maybe I'm gonna put this in some um, body lotion and try how that works. I can try a little bit a little amount of it it's only one gram so it isn't much so I'm gonna try that and that was it it's been uh, quite a long video I think and I hope to see you in another video have a nice day bye